What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert. You're watching the Biker Bar Podcast. You put out a video. You said that um, I think you uh, broke your your hips sometime in the past. Is that the worst? I've broken that you my had? pelvis three separate times over the last eleven years. How how did you end up doing that the first time? 2006 collegiate national champs, Angel Fire, New Mexico. I'm all hot under the collar because I just like raced a ton in Spain and did two World Cups that year. And then two years prior to this, I'd gotten third place at the collegiate national champs in Pennsylvania. So I'm like, well, two years ago when I barely raced, I was able to get third. I should try to go for the win today. And there's so I'm just like, there's, it snowed a whole bunch the night before the race. And like, I'm this California kid. I don't know what to do in snow. And there's one really tough rock guard, and I figured out how to pump and pump and pump my way through. Came in sprinting, started to pump and pump, and I just hit some snow and just slipped the wrong way. And instead of like over rotating in a corner, I turned the wrong way, hit the rocks, and just got flung sideways into the rock garden and landed right on my side and broke like that pointy part in the side of, of, of your hip. That's uh -huh. the iliac crest of your pelvis. And so that landed right in the rocks and it shattered my right iliac crest. But no ball and socket damage. That was 2006. And then in 2016, 10 years later, up in your neck of the woods, Nevada City, racing TDS Enduro, found a, you could just go straight through this rocky section, no brakes, because there's no turn, so you can just no brake it and go real fast. Well, it rained the night before the race a ton. And so I'm thinking, like, well, it's kind of a gamble, but if I pull it off, I'll probably do really well. And I was doing decent in the race, so I tried it and no braked it. And then it just, my tires washed out under me and I landed on my left hip and broke that left iliac crest. And then last summer, I'm riding with one of the IBIS engineers here in Bellingham. And there's a super wild, steep drop in. And then on the side, you can ride up on the side of the rock or cliff or whatever, and then jump into the, the, the actual roll in. Super hairball maneuver. And so I tried it. And once I landed, just like immediately started bouncing and flopping super out of control and one foot came off, but I was like lined up with the exit and trying so hard to just ride it out. And I just hit something and it just bounced me right into a tree. And that broke um, the middle of my pelvis clean in half. Oh shoot. Uh, yeah. The pubic. So have there been different spots clear. every time? Yeah. I've broken both outside edges where like your quadriceps attached to. And then I broke the middle this this last time. So yeah, I've so, broken my pelvis way too many times. I always wear body armor now when I ride. Would it be safe to say that was those were your worst accidents or have you had yeah. anything worse than that? I think the head injuries are the worst because they take a toll on you. Like life with a messed up body is one thing, but being unable to like speak correctly or like remember your kid's name or like know if you already ate dinner or whatnot is way more horrible than not being able to walk. So I think head injuries are way worse than broken yeah. bones if you like that make sure you check out the full episode and hey do me a favor before you take off hit the like and subscribe be sure to check out our show sponsors cali protectives and click on the link and show more to use the discount code and save 15 percent